Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to design an Equid dropshipping store. Once you have created your account on Equid, which is completely free as you can start selling on Equid for $0 as they offer a free forever plan that will allow you to list and sell up to 5 products. Now once you have done that, you'll be redirected to a dashboard just like this. On this dashboard, you'll now be able to upload a product. So you can choose whether you'd like to do some dropshipping, selling products from AliExpress or from other dropshipping suppliers, or you can decide whether you'd like to do some print on demand. Now, after you have added your products, and by the way, if you would like a good platform to add products from, for example, from AliExpress, all you'll need to do is go over to the left-hand menu option hover over apps then you could tap on app market and you're going to tap on drop shipping once you have tapped on drop shipping you can see you can select printful to do print on demand and to source drop shipping products from aliexpress you will tap on sub drop shipping and from there you can install the app once you have installed the sub drop shipping app you'll be redirected to the member center as you can see right here and then from here you'll go over to the left hand menu option tap on find product and you're going to select imported products after selecting imported products you'll simply open a new tab on aliexpress or better yet a new tab and you're going to go on to aliexpress and you'll simply copy the product url that you would like to add then go back into member center paste the url right here tap on imported product then hover over the product and select list it to store and it will be added to your Equid store. Once the product has been added, it is now time to start customizing your store or designing your store. To kick things off, you can first select the theme that you would like to use. To select the theme, you'll go over to the left hand menu option and from here you can select website. After selecting website, you can see right here overview or design you are going to tap on design after you have tapped on design all you'll need to do now you can simply scroll up and you can see site content you are going to tap on edit after you have tapped on edit you'll be redirected to this page on this page depending on the type of products that you are selling you can choose from any one of these categories you can see they have apparel, health and beauty, electronics, services, home, art, and so on. It all varies. And you can scroll down until you see one of your liking. So for example, let me select one real quick, just for example sake. So let's say for example, I would like to use this one. All you'll need to do is tap on use this template after selecting use this template from here you can see we can start editing so the first thing you can do you could tap on header and menu then from there you can add your site logo so you could tap on your site right there you could type in right where you see text you could tap there instead and change it to an image and from here you could upload your site logo right here Another thing you could do instead of it being an image, you could add text. Then from there, you could type in your website name. So let's say, for example, Jason Tess. So you can see it right there. After doing that, you'll tap on back in the top left hand corner. Then after doing that, you can see the navigation menu. You can tap there and you can add more items to the menu if you want. Or if it is a case that you would like to edit the store section, you can tap there. So you can see show categories on menu hover. You can toggle that on or off if you want. And by the way, by going back, let's go back real quick. From here, if you would like to add a button to the header section, you can do that. So you could tap on add button. Then you could type in the title and you can select the action, meaning which page it will lead to after doing that you can also tap on design and if you like to change layout you can do that 
as you can see there are numerous layout options so you can see I've now moved the logo to the middle of the page you can also tap on background and from there you can change the background so you can see right here background style you could change the background if you want now let's scroll back up and we can also tap right where you see store right here so you could tap on store and from here you can see the products that we have added in the past now to start editing it you can tap on manage products and you'll be able to edit a specific product or you could tap on design from here you will be able to change the background so instead of it being a solid color you can tap right here on default color you can also tap on gradient and you could choose a color or you can select solid color then tap on the color box let's say for example I would like to change it to this color I could simply tap right there you can see that the background color has now changed you can also tap on title and you could change the font style the font size and you can also change the font color you can tap on product name and from there you will be able to edit the font style for the product name you can also edit the font style and the font color as you can see right there and you can tap on product image by tapping on product image you will be able to edit the product image but I'll also be showing you another way how you can do it as on this section it is kind of hard going down down there to edit it so all you will need to do is tap on manage product after you have tapped on manage product you will be redirected to the control panel and from here you will be able to edit the product page so you will simply tap on edit product after tapping on edit product from here you will scroll down and you can change the price if you want you can change the product title you can scroll down you can change the description as you can see right there you have numerous editing options you can choose from and you can also scroll down and right where you see preview product you could tap right there and you'll be able to preview the product and see how it looks so let's do that real quick you can see how it looks right there now let's go back to our main editor page after you're finished and it is to your liking let's go back you can tap on about us and from there you could edit the about us section by tapping in the description section you could type out whatever you want right here another thing you can also do you could go back you can add a promo slider if you want so you can tap on add slider so let's do that and you can see a slider has been added right there then you could simply scroll down then tap on add image and from there you can add images to the slider you can also edit the shop now button as you can see right there so you have quite a few editing options as you can see there another thing that you can also do you can add customer reviews so you could tap on customer reviews and then you can see the customer reviews section right here then let's go back and from there you can tap on delivery info and you'll be able to edit the delivery info right here after you're finished you'll tap on publish in the top right hand corner for your website to go live so now once your website is live you can tap on view site and you will now be able to share your website URL and start making some sales so for example if we were to tap on shop now it will redirect us to the products page and then from there they can tap on the product that they would like to purchase as you can see right here then they can tap on add to bag and they'll continue to complete their sale hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe